Uh, I'm going to use this bottle to describe different uh, fluoroscopy views. Uh, bottle uh, represents a model for ventral space. Uh, ventral space is the space that outlines a spinal canal. It includes epidural space, dura, spinal cord, and all the layers. Remember CR. It has an X-ray tube, image intensify, and monitors. Uh, we're going to simulate something like this here. My phone is going to be a light source uh, or X-ray tube. Wall is going to be an image intensifier and shadow on the wall is going to be a picture that you get on your monitor. Positioning my uh, light source right in the middle will give me a P view. Rotating it 90 degrees from uh, AP will give me a lateral view. Something in between AP and lateral is oblique view. Line that you see at the back of the monitor is a middle line. It is an analog of a spinolaminal line. With the rotation of uh, my light source, I see the shadow on the wall changes. Each time it reflects different edge of the model. As we call the model a ventral space, each edge of the um, ventral space is a ventral line. So I can say that the um, uh, edge of the shadow reflects different uh, ventral line. For example, when I position my light source um, in lateral view, um, edge of the shadow will re reflect um, a middle line. In this case, uh, ventral line uh, out, uh, out overlap uh, middle line. Um, with the, my needle approaching um, a ventral space from one side and light source rotated towards uh, the needle, um, I get a shadow on the opposite side of the wall. In case of fluoroscopy, uh, X-ray tube uh, moves towards the needle and uh, image intensify away from the needle. We call it the uh, contralateral oblique view. If uh, light source rotated uh, uh, on opposite side, uh, I get a um, shadow on the side of the needle placement. In case of fluoroscopy, uh, X-ray tube away from needle, image intensifier on the side of the needle. We call it ipsilateral oblique view. Uh, now we're going to go through three different situations. With sensation number one, my needle approaching midline. Uh, number two, it goes away from the midline on the side of uh, needle placement. And sensation number three, it goes um, uh, away from midline on opposite side. Let's see what happens. With my needle approaching midline and uh, positioning the light so straight in the lateral view, I can see a needle tip touching a uh, uh, middle line or edge of the shadow. When I go for a uh, contralateral oblique view, I can see my needle deep inside the shadow. With sedation number two, when my needle tip away from my uh, midline with lateral view, I can see my needle deep inside the shadow. Uh, with contralateral oblique, on the other hand, I can see my needle tip touching the edge of the shadow. And with sedation number three, when my needle bypasses the midline, and uh, rotating the light source does the needle hub, but not needle tip. I can see my needle deep, both with the lateral and control uh, and uh, oblique view. But is it a true contralateral oblique view? And the answer is no. To get true contralateral oblique view, I have to go on the opposite side. And in this case, I can see my needle tip touching the edge of the shadow. Uh, to conclude, uh, light and shadow model uh, can simulate uh, fluoroscopy and can be, uh, can be used to describe different uh, fluoroscopy views.